Alright, hey guys, what's up? So I haven't been streaming recently. I've, uh... I've had some st stuff to take care of. Or, uh... My life is in a mess. Anyway, quick video. Quick tip. Quick tip time. For the, for the, for the people at home who need this tip. So, have you ever had this issue? You boot up your computer that you made out of junk. Screen comes on. It says a rear cases fan not detected. That's not helpful, is it? Let's try and get into the BIOS real quick. Press the F10 key. And we go look at the uh, thermal thing. And it says CPU fan speed, something something RPM, system fan speed. N slash A, not applicable, it's a bit weird, um, if you, ow, if you gently stop the CPU spinning, CPU fan speed goes down to NA, if you let it spin some more, it goes back up. So if we look at our multimeter, we grab the multimeter, um, it's going to be hard to do this one-handed, but I'll try. Hopefully I don't blow anything. So, put our ground on the screw here. So what do we have? Ground goes on screw. Red goes on whatever red is on the fan. Zero volts. What about on the power? Point two five three eight volts. So I'm assuming there's some kind of voltage drop because it's actually using the um, fan. And blue, what's what are you at? Zero point five. Is this just my meter being bad? Hang on a second. All right. Let's try again. Round. Don't short them because that's not good. Shorting, shorting things isn't good, especially if they're under load. Uh, this was so easy to do the first time. I don't understand why it's so difficult the second. <gasps> I almost shorted it. All right, hang, hang on. Wasn't I putting ground on the screw before? I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. Ground, go, screw, we check voltage. My phone, ah, my phone is heating up so bad at the moment, I am a little bit concerned. Okay, ground, voltage, it says 13 volts. Right, so that's whatever's being powered at 14. Uh, you have to give a little bit of room for error because my multimeter is, it's not good. Um, blue one, that's not giving any signal, I'll explain that in a second. So, what are my options here? Well, I could connect a fan, but uh, I don't actually have any screws to put it in with and it might be noisy. So, uh, second option is to somehow disable it in BIOS. There's no option for that. Third option is to trick the computer into thinking it has a fan plugged in. So how do you do that? Well, if you're the computer, you see these three pins. One provides power, one provides ground, one provides blue. Um, if we go look at the spec for this, which is some image I found on Google, um, you can see that the pinout is actually power, sorry, black, ground, power, red, and tachometric signal. And in, in normal people terms, that just means pulse whenever the fan spins, or twice whenever it spins, I don't know. 
So is there a way we can get this signal to the cases fan? And the solution is quite simple. We're just going to put two jumpers together. So we have a male, so female to female jumper. And uh, it looks, uh, actually it looks really kind of sketch. It looks like it's going to just, uh, I don't like that. It's got exposed wire, but we're not going to worry about that. It'll probably only cause issues off camera when I'm actually using it. So we're going to just connect those together. I know you can't see it. Um, so I have my female to female, and I connect it to my male to male. Uh, I connect it as good as possible as I can. Um, we connect the female side to, uh, I guess, the first pin I see. And it's not going in. Go in, please. All right. So, note to self. Buy some... Ah. Should this be off? I should probably turn the computer off before I plug stuff into it, right? Uh, a bit dangerous. Come on. In you go. All right, so that's on. So, the other side goes to the CPU's um, Tamagotchi signal, whatever it is. So we just plug that in, and we try and get a nice firm plug, so that it doesn't move. Alright, so now if we look at the computer, it thinks they're both on. It thinks both fans are on, but really it's just reading the signal from one fan with a slight delay. So, uh, it's a bit of a hack. Let's try rebooting it and seeing if it's going to stop the boot. No, it doesn't. That's good. Problem kind of solved. Um, I've already used this, uh, I've already used this, um, solution in my... Dell machine here, which I use for streaming, so if we take the side of the case off, you can see that um, there's a fan pin cable here, and it runs all the way around to another cable, and then it runs all the way around to there, which is the CPU's um, fan pin. And it kind of looks like it's plugged in, but it's actually just piggybacking on top of um, the existing set of pins there. And uh, that's how you get this Dell to at least boot without a uh, hard drive fan. So, uh, let's put the case back on for you, buddy. Uh, 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 again probably should turn off computers when you're messing with them especially if you have important data running on them um, as you can see the case isn't quite going in all right there we go there you go buddy so all done that's how you fix um, computer not being detected, not detecting a fan and refusing to boot because computers do that.